Starting after a weekend. Okay, yes. Yeah. So we are now on Mishlei 2016. And uh, I read this one as I do. I'm not preparing. So for those who missed the memo, uh, I'm not preparing Mishlei these days by request. But this one was like, we're going to have a hard time with the translation. So, and I usually get the translations anyway. Have you had coffee? No. Ah, okay. I didn't start oh, you did. Okay, good. 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 All right. <laughs> yeah. Anyone want to try? I don't think anyone is going to get it right. I, I certainly wouldn't have. Um, cake is dormant mm -hmm. because the West. West? <laughs> you, you, someone's been learning Hazel too much. <laughs> this is a verb. Um, mixed spider. Yeah. Was that That's lingering not, from what? Was that lingering from Ramon the Qs from earlier in the year? Ar Maybe. Arabon? Or you just got it from like no. Oh wow. Because that's not the first word I would go to. Because Eric could no. be like, no, I mean you're you're you have to be correct here, but like, I don't know, I would say evening mixture, you know. Uh, I wouldn't say wolf, 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 wolf. <laughs> yeah. That's the Arab. That's, that's it. Yeah, right. Arab, yeah. Anyway, so uh oh, that's the actual term. That's the second translation of like Arab. Uh, no, the no. for Ere, like a Shativ Erev in uh, uh, in, in Chavez. I think the, the Shetty is the is the wet. Um, wet, wet and wolf. wolf. No, no, wolf it, is wet. It's the same thing. It's oh, like, okay, it's right, 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 right. Wolf, 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 right. Yes. It was gonna be a part of my wolf here, but uh, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So, uh, so ki arav zar. Yeah, that was so collateral is the verb. Uh, sorry, the noun. But what's the uh, verb? Collateralized. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't think that's the actual. I don't think it's a, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's say that. Yeah, all right, fine. I'm, I'm not going to type anything yet. Just go on, go on. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, who was uh, I thought you were, were you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I wanted to not be rude anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and in the witness of strangers, so Ba'ad is, I think, always on, oh, on uh, behalf of. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and behalf or for the sake of, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Right. And you, strangers. So you're reading the Ksiv. I guess so. Yeah. The Kri is the one that you read. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're going to do both. But yeah, uh, okay. yeah, yeah. That's a stranger, right? Uh, yeah, a stranger. And not just a stranger. A strange woman. A strange woman. Yeah. Oh. Um, and and this is the last part I would just give yeah. up. Uh, yeah, that's what you think, right? Like uh, a yeah, yeah. So this is okay. So and I'm gonna read. We're gonna do what we don't usually do. I'll just read the, the three English translations right up right off the bat here. Our scroll says, "Take the garment." So this is in uh, in Cebu term. Lakach, lakach big do. Take the garment of one who cosigns for a stranger. That's the verb. Right. To cosign. It's not the same as collateral. It's not the same as collateral, but it is related. Yeah. Right. I, I, yeah. You're. Yeah. We'll, we'll explain with the factor in a second. Who cosigns for a stranger? Or offers collateral for an alien woman, uh, and collateral uh, it offers collateral is chablehu. Uh, so look at Mitzvah Sion, chablehu inyan mashkon. So it means a collateral. Kamo im tachbol. Uh, you have nakuda there? No. 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 I don't know if it's tachbol tachabel. That's why I was wondering if we got this from uh, if if something was away a neural pathway was awakened from earlier in the Ramam this year because I feel like we had to have read this pasuk. Right. But uh, yeah. You can get the uh, in the old Kumash. yeah. All right. Uh, so our school says take the garment of one who co-signs for a stranger or offers collateral for an alien woman. Um, uh, yeah, not not like a Martian, but you know, uh, take uh, living Knox says take his garment because he pledged security for a stranger. So that's another verb translation. He pledged security. He gave it as security on behalf of a foreign woman. And then Alter says take his garment for he stood bond for another. Okay, like financial bond. Uh, and for strangers, take his pledge. I think Imam Mikias may have read the second half of this one. Oh, yeah. It's, is it's, this the widow one? No. No, this is, poor man? This is the poor person. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So see your fellow's garment as security. Yeah. Them, but, sorry. So let's just agree upon a working translation here because it's going to be weird no matter what. So take the garment of one who, I'm going to say cosines because that's the thing I understand the most. Yes. Let, let's just go over the facts here, right? So. And I, I never get this right the first time. So so correct me if you think I'm wrong. And I'm not testing you. I'm just wrong <laughs> if I'm wrong. But let's say like, let's say um, 
David borrows money from Zev, but Zev is concerned that you won't pay it back. Yeah. So Isaac can be your co-signer, which means that if you don't pay it back, then you pay it. So you get your money no matter what. Uh, and, uh, and like, and it's only you yourself who are putting yourself at risk. So you're basically like yeah. doing a chesed for him on these, uh, on, on the, the possibility he's not going to pay it back. Yeah. So this is now warning you not to co-sign for a stranger. So in this scenario, uh, it's warning you. Well, here's, this, this already talking about with the, um, with the message of the possibility. Well, no, it's literally talking. The Kafbigo ki arav zar, for he has taken his cosign for a stranger, right? That's just the fact is that he's the, the fact of the puzzle, right? I mean, if you don't know, if if David is a czar to you, and I'm not defining what a czar is, but if David is a czar to you, oh, I should take David's baggage. No, Wait, no, you take baggage. your baggage. What? Oh, is, the puzzle is saying take the garment of the person who cosigns for a stranger. Only doesn't take my baggage. Was it? Yeah, I, mean, I should take your. Baggage. Well, it's not saying who should take it. Oh, it's right? taken. Right. Yeah, the same. It's, it's, someone someone is being told to take the baggage of the person who's co-signing for a stranger, okay. right? What was that? Okay, fine. Yeah, all right. I think those are just facts, right? It's yeah. not an interpretation or a message. That's just. I mean, it's literally the message of the puzzle, but it's not yeah, a talking about a bit of a warning or something. Oh, warning. Okay, fine. Yeah. You're right. It might yeah. not be warning. Yeah. Um, saying, telling someone to take my baggage. Right. Telling someone to take your baggage. Okay. Uba'ad nachria hablehu. So how do they translate that? Or so they say or, but or is definitely adding words here, right? So I guess literally it's just and, right? And uba'ad nachria chablehu. And again, I don't know the verb structure of chablehu. <laughs> like in the pasuk itself, it's weird. Yeah, chablehu. Like what? Well, it, I I don't know. See, I don't know grammar enough to. Uh, express the weirdness who would mean like okay let's say we translate Hablehu as like wound wound him mm. so now we're saying Hablehu as to take collateral for collateralize him like right. I, I, don't, I just don't know what it is but it's Hablehu, it, it has an object i mm. think but maybe it doesn't because i don't really know how, uh, how this word works so mm. we're just going to rely on on uh um what are the three so the three translations that we had or offers collateral for, for an alien woman that seems to be the simplest one this uh, living law says he gave it as security on behalf of a foreign woman. So um, again, that's on behalf of is the most literal tra translation of, of Ba'ad. Yeah. So I don't know if that means that, that like, yeah, I, I just don't even know. Okay, fine. And then, uh, and then alter just doesn't really seem to care. And for strangers take his pledge. That's just, I mean, maybe that's what we're saying. I don't know. Yeah. Um, let's look at Sadigon to see if that helps us at all. Mutter? Really? Mutter? It is permissible to take his garment uh, because he co-signed for a stranger. So that would sound like in a situation where Isaac is the co-signer, someone needs to be told that it's mutter to take his garment, which is weird because isn't that how co-signing works? Yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess, typically, okay. So, okay. Let me, again, I don't think this is like, um, I think, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Um, I think, uh, isn't there an answer of taking a, 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 someone's garment? For, yeah, so, uh, it, was that the, that's also the poor man, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Is, I forgot if that's in the same context as Mishpatim or if that's when it's repeated later on. Yeah, you can uh, look it up if you want. Yeah. Did everybody tell you that's how I play Scrabble? No. Yeah, I got that trick from Johnny. Uh, so I play Scrabble upside down. And I think this is actually, this is relevant to methodology. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I play Scrabble upside down because it forces my brain through one additional step to look for um, for non-obvious openings and patterns. Mm. In other words, if you're looking at it in the right way, you're only going to see stuff that jumps out at you really, really quickly. But if you turn it upside down, it'll equalize the playing field between things that are obvious and things that are not obvious because your brain has to turn it around. So I feel like that's a maneuver you can pull in learning. Uh, like if you, like I had this, this, uh, this is a hop. I'm just going to deviate for a second for this, uh, this thing. So there was a student I had who, uh, in Hacker, uh, that was, I could tell would be interested in learning, but he was like, had like these, uh, anti-religious, uh, not anti-religious, just turned off to like Judaism, you know, for, in, for different things, but he was very into Japan and Japanese culture. 
I mean, I've told the story before, but uh, so uh, I, I, at this time, Hafter was giving me permission to uh, basically like pull kids out of class and learn initially with them one on one, which I did. I did. Yeah, I did on my own time, but like it was, you know. So what I did was I knew if I just introduced Mishlay to him um, uh, straight away, then he would be uh, he would be turned off or like he wouldn't be able to think about. It. But I knew he was learning Japanese on his own. Mm. Okay, like to probably become fluent. So I took the pasuk and then Google translated it into Japanese and then told him that there's this Japanese, there's this proverb in Japanese. I didn't say it was Japanese proverb. There's this proverb in Japanese that I have, I have no idea what your translation skills are up to, but like, you know, if you, it, 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 like, can you, can you work it out? So he did all of the same type of work that we do with Michele, but with Japanese, and once you, and, and like, and questions came up as he was doing, it, you know, and then we got into, and then, and then I told him that it was a translation of Michelet and then we, uh, and then he, uh, he felt betrayed and ran away. No, <laughs> no I mean, uh, and then, and then we, we got into it. So it's like, it's like finding a, when your mind is going to approach something in a manner that is relying on old habits, you can sometimes trick it into approaching it in a way where it forces it into a basic understanding uh, that like you wouldn't have ordinarily done so. This was first burned yeah, by the yeah. fact that we were going to look at that plus against Shamos and Debbie was looking at the how much upside down. Mm -hmm. And then that reminded me of the Scrabble thing. And then that, yeah. So, there's your methodology for today. <laughs> You're, uh, yeah. I forgot to read it before, but. We're reading to see if that's the same thing with the not taking the uh, the poor man's uh, object. Okay. You read it in English because I'm not going to understand yeah. the uh, these in, in. If you take your fellow. Yeah. If you take your fellow's garment of security until sunset, shall you return? Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Is that the only relevant part? Yeah. yeah. Right. So, oh, so we got to this from Sadion. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, that's gonna that's gonna make it more difficult. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um. Yeah. yeah in Scrabble it works, but <laughs> learning it just slows you down. Um. Uh. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, so the side one says, Umutter Shatikaf Bigdo Avor Sha'ar Avzar. It is permissible to take his garment because he co signed for a stranger. So that is, so that brought us to this puppet of saying it's us or to do that with a poor person. But it's only us or to do that with a poor person, right? It's not us or to do that for everyone, yeah. right? It's not us or to take it. So, so, so you got to return it. That's right. You got to return it. We're right. Um, yeah, so um, so that he's deciding was phrasing it in terms of mutter and author. Umashkono ba'ad nahri and his security on behalf of a oh nahri mm. stranger. So he doesn't say nahriya. Strange. Okay. Which, I mean, look, it makes sense in the in the context. Like usually, if you encounter nahriya in Mishlei, you're either going to think it's a a prostitute or heresy, depending on whether you go to Rebbe's and Rashi or not. <laughs> right? I mean, isn't that the uh, the thing? You know. Um, I mean, plain shot is, is, is it's a, uh, either a prostitute or like your friend's wife or something, you know, some, some woman who you're not supposed to be with, you know. Um, but Sadiqo just makes it into a synonym for czar. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we got a work cut out for us. Even I, I'm still not comfortable with the translation. I mean, how do we want to translate the second half? Take the garment of one who co signs for a stranger. That's the first half. Or, oh, sorry, on behalf of a stranger. And on behalf, and, so I, and you know, maybe maybe alters is really good. And no, 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 alters is not good. Right? <laughs> and and uh, and then and then on be and and one who um, who takes uh, collateral or makes I don't know language on <laughs> on behalf of a strange woman. I think that's a, the most minimalistic translation. Let me read the whole thing again. Lakaf bigdoki arabzar. Take the garment of one who co-signs on behalf of a stranger. Uba'ad nahriya chablehu. And no, see, chablehu is a verb. And one who takes collateral on behalf of a strange woman. I don't think there's a lot of I think that's how I was inclined to translate it. And there's no problem then having someone. No, the no there's, even a, there's even a grammatical term for that. But I don't know what it is. Oh, I think it's a Moshe Atmo Ba'aherimo. I think it's even another thing. It drags Moshe Atma drags itself and its friend along with it, meaning you have one qualifier that applies to two or two one predicate that applies to two subjects. Okay. See, there's my grammar talk. There's the limit of my knowledge. Yeah. Um, 
Is it? Does it have, have to be a gift? Thought it was going to be a gift card. Um, uh, it, uh, I'm not sure. That's why I was hesitating. I just realized something that I've forgotten to do every day, so I'm going to do it right now. Ask for Pesach to bring WD40. Huh. Right? We've forgotten yeah. this every day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that squeak just now. And I, he's someone who would have it. Yes. <laughs> You know, practicality. Yeah. yeah. Um, is it possible that it's saying that his garment should be taken as a collateral for the strange woman? Hold on a second. Did I say that one more time? I had the, uh, I can't type in. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, is it possible that it's saying his baggage should be taken as a collateral for the Nufria? Like combining the two halves into one case? Yeah. Or, yeah. I don't think so. Be well, okay, it depends on how you say it. I, mean, I don't know if it's one case, but okay. yeah, I'm not sure. Meaning, uh, doing Lakah Bigdo, Ki Arvzar, and Lakah Bigdo, Ba'ad Nahria as the Chav um, like, or something like. Yeah. It's possible. Meaning, like, it should be taken for Arvzar, and it should be Chav Chav Lehu for Nahria. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, it's as possible as any other reading uh, that we have so far, okay. I think. Yeah. Hard one to read. I'm kind of glad that the high schoolers aren't here today. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> there was all this pressure of like, uh, we were talking about like, I was talking to Rabbi Fader about, oh, was that face off? Hold on. We have a giant can in Yakiva. Ah, oh. You got to find us. In the cubby with the tools and stuff. Does anyone know what that is? Oh, yes, I think I might right. know what it is. Okay, so uh, after this, I, I really do want to show you who, who said they hadn't seen the miracle of WD 40. You hadn't seen it? Okay. I, I, I'm not sure. All right. You, I, I gotta, if you want to see a miracle today, <laughs> then uh, I, I gotta show it to you. It's very uh, miraculous. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, I was talking with Rabbi Fader about um, people who the only definition of Musser they know is like Musser movement Musser and how like the original Musser was Hashem, Mutter Hashem, but like the original Mutter Safer is Mishle. And uh, and I was uh, talking about like the clash between, not the clash, the, it's very different. Mishle, Mutter and like, you know. Came up on the vote yesterday. Oh yeah? yeah? Interesting, yeah. So like, I'm glad this is not a person's first vote for <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, like that's what you're telling me? Like, don't co-sign for a stranger with strange women? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you it's the, the it's, it's not like it's stated in the imperative that you should take the garment. Yeah, right. That's true. Yeah. All right. So uh, how do we want to do this? This is different than any of the psukim that we typically do because we, I don't even know, I don't feel comfortable in the facts. So should we like okay. Okay. just work on it and then like pull the ripcord sooner than we usually do in terms of like going to the Mepharshim? Or do we feel like totally lost to the point where we can't even work on it? Um, I have a possible trailhead for working on it. Okay. Um, it's mixing metaphors. <laughs> yeah. So well we don't know if they're metaphors. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna completely ignore the second half. Good. Yeah, that's that's a good move. I mean I've done that before. Yeah. So um if it's saying to take the garment of someone who co-signs for a stranger, mm -hmm. um so whether it's, it's saying you should or or as we're talking about this whether it's yeah. stuff, um then I think what I would think about is why would a person not do that? Right. Yeah. That is so Sadigun, the strength of Sadigun is he gives us, well, I mean, I know you just said it's not necessarily Sadigun, but um, Sadigun definitely gives us a clear Havamina foothold. Yeah. And the public itself also does. Uh, but the difference, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, yeah, you're right. It could go on both. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So the question is why would a person think that they should not do that? Right. Yeah, I mean, he's co-signing. Right. Yeah, he, yeah. That was, he, was, he was literally signing up. Yeah, for. yeah. Like, yeah. That is that is the agreement, right? Yeah. Although, but again, I, I do think though. Oh, this is what I was gonna say before: is that the typical thing, like, if if you're not poor, so the, the way it typically works is when you co-sign for the loan and you default on the loan, you pay money. Yeah. So I think the, the facts of the scenario are, and this might really help us here, is you co-sign expecting him to pay. And you don't allow for that in your your budgeting. So now you don't pay, and you get caught by surprise, and we have to take your garment, right? 
Yeah, I think you're right. And then you're like, and I don't know, again, I don't know if this is addressed to you or to other people, but there is a feeling of like, this wasn't supposed to happen. And then I could show you the documents and be like, but you literally signed, you signed yourself to do this and it's a stranger. Like, what do you expect to happen? Well, you know, you expected to not have to give your garment because you, you thought, you know, yeah. And also, yeah, uh, I mean, also, I think it's important that like he, maybe he's expecting, or I don't know, there's a, you know, that you, you wouldn't take his garment, like mm -hmm. you wouldn't take the more garment. Right, right. Uh, but you do. Yeah, right. That's a good point also, is that uh, you, yeah, is that there is precedent, so to speak, for not taking garments for, for collateral. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. some reason, that doesn't apply to you. Right. Yeah, I'm also interested in, in what type of person the Isaac is. Yes, and right. I mean, I, I see like. Wait, are we still talking about the Pusuk or? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see that uh, like both positives and negatives to like that type of person where it's something that will then allow, right? If that was concerned with me, say because I'm poor, it yeah. means it will allow the someone who's poor to still be able to do things. Then. Right. Be, it will, but at the same time, it's also allowing for then like weird things to be happening. Yeah. And, like this, like. So lack of clarity is interpersonal, like right. businesses. So are, are we aware that this is a genre of Mishle puzzle? Mm -hmm. The co-signing for a stranger thing? Yeah. Did it come up in the first time talking? Is that where you I don't remember? Because yeah, I wouldn't know, yeah. but uh yeah, I, I feel like it does. But I I there are co signing for a stranger is a genre. It's or it's a subject, yeah, in the same way as let's say like laziness is a genre or like a subject, and like co-signing for a stranger is a is there are like at least three or four took them about it in Mishle. Um, so I feel like it was something that is, um, is, you know, maybe it was more common than, maybe it's more common now. I don't really know in the business world, like what the, the, uh, equivalents are, you know, um, I mean, they're still co-signing. Uh, right. But I don't like, I don't know how casual it was back then as like a regular now it's not something you do as part of your day-to-day -day business. It might've been much more common back then, which is why these warnings are, you know, so the, the, the question is like, was, you know, we didn't even ask for questions. <laughs> That's fine. I, we're, we're past that now. Um, uh, but like this, the other question, so there's two Havaminas here. Okay. One is, and the, the one that comes from the Pasuk is the Pasuk is talking to someone, telling them basically the collector, right? That, you know, take the garment of the one who goes on for a stranger. Uh, and you either take it in terms of the Havamina being, well, why would you think you shouldn't, or um, what was the other way to have the Havamina? Or, or is that, is that it? Yeah, yeah why we think they shouldn't, either inside the own framework or not. But then the other question also just on the case is why would someone co-sign for a stranger? Yeah. You co-sign for your friend who you know is trustworthy. Yeah, someone walks in and is like, hey, can you co-sign for this $100,000 loan? And I'm right. like, sure. Yeah, right, yeah. right, exactly. Isn't that, isn't that Mickey Mouse voice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You wouldn't say it that way. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the next classic is also not. I think it's not. I thought that though. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's uh, their area means uh, sweet. Oh, really? Yeah. And the connection might be a play on words. Yes. Right. Or even if left and checker. The bread of falsehood is sweet to a man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but that could easily be an associative thing uh, yeah. to, rem to remember it. Our of an era. Yeah. Is there a way to read this? That's sweet. No, there's not. Yeah. A sweet stranger. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I had to go sign. Yeah. No, there's no co sign. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's not because it's so sweet. Yeah. Um, right. So, can we answer the Havamina thing? So, I, I think the, the route of the poor person of saying that. In the same way that you would be reluctant to take the garment, well, it's funny because there's not me into that too. Why do you need the Torah to tell you they have to return the garment? Because you probably wouldn't feel bad taking the garment from the poor person and then not returning it, you know. But yeah, yeah. So circle how it means, you know? yeah. Why don't you take it by the poor person? Right. So I, I think so I'm going to start with why you you would take it which is that legally that the situation he's in and it's his property and like you, he owes you money or whatever. And you know, you do that. And then I- Also, yeah. nothing in before, so I think he's giving it to you. Oh yeah? Yeah. So it's not like base team sees, is it? Yeah, yeah. no sees, yeah. Uh -huh. um, but then you, it, the puzzle says why you give it back to him, right? It doesn't say that, or is that the pillow one? That's not from Kihi, Kihi Chesu Tau Levada. Kihi 
the Malato, the Horo, a Menishka, the Hayaki, it's Akhilai, and the Shamatiki, Hanunani. It alone it is his clothing, it is his garment for his skin. Um, in what should he lie down? Um, so it will be that if he cries out to me, I shall listen, for I am compassionate. Yeah, so it seems like a, a Rahamim thing yeah. that, like, he's going to be without a garment for the night. Mm -hmm. And, like, um, what? Hold that night. Yeah. Um, and, uh, not what? Not Mishpah. Right, because he, I mean, well, Hashem's response to him is out of uh, Hanun, right? Yeah. Um, but, and yeah, it doesn't seem Mishpah, right? Because it seems like by Mishpah standards, then you should, you should take it or you yeah. get to keep it, you know? Um, yeah. Well, you're keeping it, holding on to it. Holding on to it, yeah. Like this isn't keep as in keep overnight. Yeah. yeah. Not acquired. Yes. So the question was what? Uh why in that case is it was that the question you were asking about the poor person? Why yeah. why would you not uh yeah. Yeah. yeah right. I, I'm gonna express what um I think feels like to have me, but I think it's probably not actually. Yeah. Um that you know if he made a bad decision. You should take his garment so you, so that you show him that he. That yeah, was, I mean, uh, definitely, de de people definitely feel that way. Like you know, yeah, when they uh, there's like a glee in C. Yeah, like, like you, you shouldn't have done that. I'm yeah, right, that. right, yeah. Now you lost your shirt. Yeah. It's funny the uh, the expression for uh, one of the idioms in English for kindness is like you would give him the shirt off his back. <laughs> you know, it's like the ultimate expression of a, yeah. I just associate it. I don't know if that's anything mm -hmm. to do with this. Are, are, are we ready now to consider the Ba'ad Nachriya Chablehu thing? I think plain shot is like Sadiqon, that is just expressing the same thing in different words. Because what would, once you introduce an actual like Nachriya into this, it just becomes infinitely more complicated. <laughs> if Nachriya is someone else's wife, which is one case of Nachriya and Mishle, then I have, why are you? No, <laughs> you know, like why are you doing business with another wife? And if Nakria is like a a, a streetwalker, as they call them, right? Is that the one of the idioms for like a a zona? Yeah, so they walk on the street. Yeah, then I walk on the street. <laughs> yeah, but then, then why are you? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, then why are you involved in financial? Like, are you giving collateral on her behalf? Like. Like, I just don't understand the case. It just becomes less understandable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's also that it's like saying like that, I don't know, somehow he got like seduced into doing this. Uh, like he's like, by her. By her, yeah. Like, oh, that's interesting. Him, and right. And she asked for. That could be. Cosine. Oh, you know, that's like the uh, Yehuda, right? Mm -hmm. I guess. Right? Yeah. He, he held on, he held on to his, mm -hmm. uh, his items. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still more complicated, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, you want let, let's Not, do, yeah. I, I no, 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 you're right. <laughs> now it's fine, at least. Couple of double shows. Yeah, I would take a couple of double shows too. Um, but enough, yeah. we had a weird like, why is it? Yeah, I still don't know. So, okay, that uncomfortable saying that it's because Mishle does have a Derek Nister, mm -hmm. and it could be that for the Nigla meaning, it, it, it it's locked up enough, yeah. Nafri, Nafri, Zara, 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 you know, like it, it's just a, a person you don't know. Mm -hmm. But then for the Nister meaning, then Nafri could be significant. Okay. Yeah. And that's a, that is a category of, uh, of uh, weird, weird diction in Mishle, you know, yeah. of like, um, uh, isn't there a show called My Weird Addiction? Okay, I'm gonna make a new Mishle in my weird diction, a series of uh, <laughs> in Mishle with uh, with weird words. But like when you see Mishle give a strange, um, a strange, like I'll get like the, the, the paradigm example that I used to illustrate this point is um, the Pasuk of um, better uh, dry bread with tranquility in it than a house. The Mibayas Mali Zivche Riv. So all the Pshat Mepharkim, I think, say that Zivche Riv means meat of, of contention. Okay. The question is, why are you referring? To, yeah, Zvachim used to be the only way to eat meat. But why are you referring to it as meat? And then Pas Hareva. Yeah, Hareva means dry, but it's just a weird way. Like, you know, like there are other words for like, like undelectable bread, you know? So the answer is that in the Pshat, it, yeah, it just means meat and bread. But in the, like Rashi says, Better for God to Tov uh, Baruch Lecharev Beso to destroy his base of Mikdash and use the Kharev because it's Kurban Habayis. Mm -hmm. 
then and to put it at peace from these zivke reeve of qualities that are bringing korbanos. You know, so like on the shot level, yeah, you wouldn't use those words, but because Shlomo Melech is trying to incorporate a double meaning, he might use a weird word that like functions for both sides, and you won't need them for both interpretations. So that's how I would say the the couple meals uh, double meal shows. And I get Sadiqon's a riot for me because Sadiqon just changes the gender. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's do Mitzvahs Davi just so we can have something to 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 you know uh, chew on. Chew on. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh okay uh mrs no, david no 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 no, no. <laughs> we're not we're not uh, we're not doing that <laughs> um okay uh mrs david look off big deal look off mach lamachon as begged haarev take as collateral the garment of the uh clothes guarantor is the other word i was thinking mm. of that i never know how to use that but it makes sense you're the one who guarantees that the loan be paid mm -hmm. that's the guarantor yeah. okay um uh, oh, and the, the other word, uh, like that's, it's a weird word, uh, the short, Arev. I mean, it means mixing, right? But like, a mix of a lot of different meanings. Yeah, but that, but that is what you're doing when you're, when you're doing the uh, co-tining, right? Is that this should be a financial deal between you two, right. but then you're, min, you know, mixing yourself into it. You know, you're, you're putting yourself into it. Um, so the Lamakon has begged Arev, don't be guilty about this. Right, so they're saying like the. So it was talking to you then, right? You should take the garment of the guy who guaranteed it and don't feel guilty. Right, right. Um, I, I assume it's don't feel guilty. I mean, because you're not actually incurring guilt. It doesn't. It's not. No, it's not saying don't incur guilt. It means like don't feel guilty. I think. Well, it's saying don't incur guilt by not taking it. Oh. I do, I, I, I hear that as a reading, but I feel like you could be mochalit if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're doing an Avera by not taking it. It's your money. Well, hello, right. Unless there's some kind of, I don't know. No, I think we, I think we, read, we read this actually at the end of Perak Hay in Hevel's Deus. Um, uh, oh, reminder, I'm just saying this now. Someone remind me uh, at Raman Bacchus, I had a, uh, a wacky uh, tefillah this morning mm -hmm. with Hevel's Deus. I got a merge in Hilfus Deus uh, and uh, Tefila. It was, uh, I don't know if it was a long time coming, but like, it was like, a, yeah, I got, I got to talk about it. I didn't want to talk about it here because it's nothing to do with Mishlei, but, uh, um, uh, but uh, we read the end of Hilfus Deus, Perik Hamishi, that a uh, Talmud Chachamim, one of the things you can do in business is always uh, be willing to forgive his money. Mm -hmm. You know, like, don't be mockbeat on your own money, but like, let others be mockbeat like with you, like hold yourself to the standard where other people are mockbeat on you. Um, is this chair broken? Is that what thing in the sounds? Yep. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, can't. WD40 is not miraculous to the point where it's a nice uh, niggle. <laughs> yeah, it can't change the laws of nature. Um, oh, sorry. Because this guy became a, a guarantor for Azara on his own account. And he, I don't think he means humbled himself. I think it means he lowered himself through this, right? You put yourself in this under. Um, this uh, disadvantageous uh, situation by becoming a guarantor. So it really is saying, don't feel bad for the guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. He put himself into the situation yeah. Yeah. and like, it's your money. Like, you know, like it's your deal. Like, you know, yeah. You know, it is, hmm. um, I, th I think the phenomenon that's happening is I put myself in a financial situation where, in a bad financial situation, yeah. but where you have the ability to help me out to talk to yourself. Right, exactly. And, like, yeah. and I'm saying, don't, don't take the financial responsibility for someone else's bad decision right. up upon yourself. Which is really funny because that's what you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly the mistake you made. And it's basically saying like, stop the chain. You know, like, like you know, you did not have to co-sign for a stranger, but you took on only risk so that you could help this guy. And now the person who originally, you know, uh, uh, is, you know, uh, offering the loan, is in a situation where he's tempted to to repeat the mistake. Yeah. Stop the chain. Wait, I, wait, that's, not, that's not the actual message. Yeah. I'm just saying that because it's wait, where he's how is he perpetuating it by well no, you're it's not actually perpetuating it like financially, but you are you would be making the same mistake that he did. He felt, I mean, I'm not saying it's always like this, but let's say oh. you feel bad for this poor guy who can't get a loan because he he can't uh, pay it pay it back. So he offers to co-sign and put himself at financial risk for it. Now he can't pay the loan. 
he puts he actually suffers the yeah, uh, the I'm loss. So, I'm suffering because of my bad decision. Because of your bad decision that was prompted by just wanting to be helpful yeah. and being in a position to do something about it. Now you are in a position to be helpful and do something about it to him nice. by not taking his garment, and that would be a loss for you. I see. You know, so it's like it's the same mistake, just playing itself out in different parties, mm -hmm. staring you in the face, like. You know, that, that, that's the good thing about this thing is it's staring you in the face and like, like, don't be like that guy, you know? What's weird is it's like, it's basically telling you not to do that thing. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's and this is, it's not, it's telling you not to do uh, foolish kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I think that's the thing. This is foolish. Kind of stuff. It's right. Thing. I made a bad decision. And yeah. So now I'm at a loss. And it's not like you doing the class that is going to like, change the amount of loss that's happening it's just you're just gonna say that you're gonna do, have a loss instead of me right. that's, that's that's not that's just like self aggressive right yeah it almost reminds me of the um I, I know it's not the exact same thing but like what's the uh um rothmim on rashaim is like Achzarius to the world mm -hmm. you know so like chesed in a manner, so let, let's say what happens if you end up doing this kind of chesed. So you get financial loss. You were in a position where you were helping out this guy, right? Which was a good use of your money, you know? Or, or I mean, in theory, it was a good use of your money. Like he should have just got a co-founder who's like actually like who knows him and stuff. But, uh, but now as a result of like taking the financial hit, you're not gonna be in a position to loan money anymore or you're not gonna wanna loan money anymore. Like it ends up being bad for the net chesed that goes around, you know? Um, you could argue for that perspective. But yeah, going back to your question, this is not saying don't co-sign for people, and it's also not saying don't forgive, uh, uh, don't forgive, um, you know, debts or whatever. Don't forgive like monetary like losses, but it is warning people to not get involved in things that are foolish that uh, cost them. You know? Yeah. Like I, oh, I made a bad decision, and I took, um, and so I'm taking a financial a financial hit because of my bad decision. And normally, if I if I just if that, if that just happens, let's say I make a bad business deal, you know, the, you feel no obligation to, like, give me your money to, to compensate for that deal. But here, because you're involved in some way, you then there's this feeling that, like, oh, you should do plethora to make it so that, you know, so that I don't have to suffer the, con to suffer yeah. the consequences of the, bad, of the bad financial decision. I mean, you feel bad taking money. From him. Yeah. yeah, it's not that you're yeah. right. Me, okay. Yeah, but that's not the thing is it's not any different than a bad than me doing a bad business deal. Right. It's just because you are involved in some way, therefore you feel like there's uh -huh. a feeling that like you shouldn't. And how is it different than the poor person that you shouldn't take this? So the um, the um, the cheap answer is uh, is that that's halakha. Mm -hmm. It's true, but it's uh, like I don't know. I'm not actually answering your question, yeah. but meaning that the halacha actually does draw the line there in terms of what to what extent your mercy should, should extend. Um, you know, meaning right. that you have to return it every night. Well, you know? my question is why is halacha? Right. Uh, I mean, so that, that I, I, I'm saying that, I'd, like, okay. Now I'm gonna not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna reverse keep in the answer, uh, which is that I do think that it's a big question. Um, uh, we were talking about a similar situation yesterday that like there are certain human interaction things that there's a quantitative dimension. Mm -hmm. Like let's say for example, if doing something upsets somebody, how much is it on them to like be reasonable and how much is it on you to like tiptoe around their, their psyche, you know? Right. So there, there is a certain quantitative phenomenon. And when you're dealing with a system of, of trying to imbue a system of of being with 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 values of rachim and midos. There has to be a line drawn somewhere, and uh, and God draws the line at at return the thing to him at night and then continue to hold it during the day. And you can ask why, you know, and and that that's a thing. But I, I'm saying that there's essentially the answer is that that's where halakha draws the line, and this is beyond halakha. And I think that answer does stand on its own. Again, still you can ask why it draws the line there, but I'm saying the line would have to be drawn at some point, you know. But it, right, could it just made it just like this case like it seems like in this case there is no mercy that you have to feel right why is there any mercy there it's not like right. a quantitative thing it's like why is there no i i'm i'm translating it as, okay yeah you you could ask that question also is why does why is this uh, an institution of mishpat that god wants to instill with 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 mercy mm -hmm. you know that's a good question also yeah i'm not answering it
Yeah, I would just say several answers, but I think um, there's, I think you can take whatever the guy owes you, and then if he's now lacking, you can give him Sadaka as like a separate thing. So this is, those are like two separate things. Right, that is also true, right? I mean, this is not the only institution of of, of Chesed and Rachamim and Sadaka that exists yeah. for people, but- yeah, It's not like you're either taking his possessions and leaving him destitute, like leaving him to starve, you know, or not doing anything. It's, you can take what he owes you, and then, you know, if he, if now he's poor and needs stuff, you can give him Sadaka, you know, but um, it's, um, I think it's not correct to say that you're in more of an, you have more of an obligation to, um, to get to like, to help them out financially than anyone else does. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't, you have to absorb some of the loss because you can't take his shirt. No, you can, but you have to return it every, every night. Yeah, no, no. That that case is you're taking it as the collateral for a loan. Oh, for a loan. Yeah, that's initially. Yeah, that's. I see. Okay, fine. Easy, that's yeah. not this case. Oh yeah, the, 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 that case yeah, yeah. is a different case. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. I got it mixed up. Yeah, yeah I got it. Why mix up anything? Wait, that, that's, a, that's just David instead of you. No, I'm saying that this case is the uh, the case the, the case in, yeah. in the in the in Talca is um is if let's say you know I'm poor and I borrow money from you. Yeah. So I'm gonna pay you back. I'm gonna pay you back in a month, right? You want to you want a collateral to make sure that I do have uh, pay you. So for a month, you hold on to my garment until until I pay you back. Right. Uh, and, and the poor person, but it is, which is a bit since I'm poor, and I'm not going to have a, a garment for right. You give it back. Yeah, right. Give it back right. Back. Yeah. So I guess the question start off on the wrong foot because I got the cases mixed up. Uh, yeah. Right. Is not, not giving him. You're not just like giving him the money. Yeah. You're you're still collecting the money that you lent him. And uh -huh. so this case is unrelated to, uh, yeah. so the only thing I see what got confused me is when Matus, uh, Sion quoted it, he was just quoting it for the words, yes. not mm -hmm. for the case. And I, I, I just assumed it was the same case. So, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, we still should think about this, but just uh, to wrap up here for today, at least look at his pronoun on Ba'an Afriya. This is a very simple thing, staring us in the face. Ba'an Afriya, Kefal Davar, oh, sorry, Matus David for uh, our oh, project. Okay. Yeah, Kefal Davar. Uh, is repeating the, the matter, Lomar is to say, Bain Arav Avur Ish, Bain Bavur Isha, Anya Soara. So whether it's for the sake of a man or whether for the sake of a woman, Anya Soara is a, a muscle for a, uh, an afflicted storm tossed one who has not been consoled. So yeah, your, your, your Rahmim is going to, let's say, like some woman who, like, you know, I don't know, like, like is a widow or got divorced or like, you know, or is in a bad situation. And like, there's a, a different kind of compassion that's aroused for like, a, a, you know, a woman who's not in a good financial standing, who's much more in need than a, a guy. But yeah, if she's like a, a a gambling addict, you should investigate that before you co-sign for her. And like, if someone is fool enough to, foolish enough to co-sign for her, or if or the woman, if she, if she's like, I was, see, I'm thinking about the wrong case again. If she is this just this woman who just um, very very compassionate and she gets herself in all this sort of like uh, trouble by co-signing for strangers, mm -hmm. like. That's you know that doesn't uh, mean that you should not collect money from her you know yeah because uh, otherwise what's going to happen is when I when, when let's say she goes ahead for me I don't have any money you know I don't have any way of making money and then you lend me money and she co-signs then either you're going to be collecting from her or you're just going to be giving me money and yeah, yeah. so I, I do want to like crystallize this idea for tomorrow but i'm mindful of the fact that if we do get a bunch of the high schoolers then maybe we shouldn't focus on the public yeah. so like like you know like i, I don't want to like so i'm hesitant to say that we'll start off with this tomorrow but we'll see who comes uh, right. but I, either way at some point i want to like clarify this because i do think we have to define a little bit clearer what the what the emotional half mean is and uh and uh and like the the consequences are clear i think but I think also now that we know the case a little better. Yes, we can think about it clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, so we'll, we'll aim to come back to this in some format. All right, All right. sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, hey.